So, you finally decided it's time to upgrade your old graphics card for competitive gaming. And you have two options. You can either go brute force with more VRAM and go with an AMD card, or you can stick with what most people consider a safe pick and go with a newer but maybe slower NVIDIA card. Now these are pretty standard questions which most competitive gamers ask and unlike AAA gaming it's usually not as clear cut because performance do change a lot between competitive games as they update more often. For this upgrade test let's assume that you have an older card like the GTX 1660 Super and you have two options here the more VRAM and as I've said brute force of the RX 6700 XT or the much more traditional but power saving route of the RTX 4060. Both cards has their own strengths and based off tech power up the RX 6700 XT should be about 91% faster compared to the 1660 Super while the 4060 is only 71% faster. Now let's see how these two cards roll on our gaming benchmarks. Okay, let's start this test with Warzone. To establish a baseline, let's see how the GTX 1660 Super runs at 1080p. And this is with FSR 3, no frame gen. It's definitely not amazing. I mean, it's playable, but not exactly great. This is the GTX 1660 Super against the power efficient RTX 4060. Look at that. On our running shot, there's a significant uplift there in terms of raw performance and GPU power is more or less the same for both cards, but the performance of the 4060 is definitely at least 50% more compared to the 6060 Soup. When we put the RX 6700 XT here, you can tell that it's just a bit of a mixed bag. The RX 6700 XT doubles the average frame rate, but look at that 1% lows. It's just all over the place. Frame times like this will definitely hurt you in game especially on those clutch moments now going for the RTX 4060 upgrade here will be more beneficial to anyone who prefers better stability once again on firing shots we're seeing better and more consistent results in favor for the RTX 4060 with the RX 6700 XT this is just painful the stability of the AMD card is just not there this would be really awful especially if you're up against a squad and engaging multiple targets and with this frame times man this is an instant gulag trip and before we move on boys if you like the taste that we do here hit that like button it really helps us a lot okay let's move on to apex legends we are running three tests here let's start with a static shot now against the 4060 you can see a huge uplift here which is about 60% difference. Let's put the RX 6700 XT in here and this is what we're talking about. This is where AMD is shining. It works pretty well on this DX11 game. That's a sizable lead against the 4060. Next up is the firing scene and the 4060's margin here against our older card has dropped a bit but that's okay. We are hitting that 300 FPS gap with the 4060 and once again it's showing its power efficiency gain over the older architecture. With the RX 6700 XT in the picture, the difference isn't as huge as what we have on our static scene, when you can see the wider and longer view distance. In this perspective, because we're a bit limited on what we can see, both the 4060 and the RX 6700 XT is able to hit that frame cap at 1080p, hence why the gap is smaller between these two cards. On heavy actions, scenes however it is quite different this is where we can see the rx 6700 xt just showing its dominance over the 4060 getting more fps however you do get that one percent drop where it hits a bit hard next game is fortnite now there's a lot to tackle here so let's start with dx12 api on scenes where there is nothing happening you'd see that the rtx 4060 is leading here on average fps and is on par with the lows take note that the rtx 4060 is not even reaching 90 percent usage here however when we do get into engagements this is where the rtx 4060's lows just drops and the rx 6700 xt is just much more consistent Funny enough is that even though AMD cards are usually regarded as faster in DX12, the 4060 is the much faster card here. 
slightly although stability definitely still goes to the 6700 xt at the dx11 scenario we know that the rx 6700 xt has dropped its usage whereas the 4060 has shot up to 94 percent historically the x11 does seem to favor nvidia cards and in this scenario we can see the huge gap the 4060 brought to the table however on the lows we do get the amd card having better 0.1 percent lows and about 50 fps difference in the average which is goes to the 4060 however the lows is definitely worth mentioning here for the amd card finally we have performance mode everyone's favorite competitive api and you have different behaviors here with these cards the 4060's usage has dropped while the rx 6700 xt seem to increase a bit first thing you'd notice is the resounding lead of our 4060 really huge gap against these two cards and the one percent lows is up there as well however that 0.1% low is really disappointing for the 4060 and this is repeatable we've tested this multiple times and we're still getting the same 0.1% results like certain frame time spikes happen to the 4060 so amd is packing a punch here 4060 is bitter but does come with that caveat and Oh, we did tweak the minimum clock speeds here of the 6700 XT because it still has that AMD low clock speed issue. Let's move on to Valorant and here for our baseline we have the GTX 1660 Super battling it out with the RTX 4060 and it's expected we have higher FPS with the 4060. No surprises there. Let's add the RX 6700 XT and there's definitely nothing spectacular here as well. The 4060 and the 6700 XT is really close up there. We're talking about less than a millisecond in terms of stability, so uh, not that much. On action scenes at 1080p, this is where we get some difference. The 1616 Super does end up to be much more stable here because it's getting pushed to the limit. Valorant has this weird behavior wherein it does that to the lower CAD. Even with the RX 6700 XT, the 0.1% lows of both new cards is not that great compared to our older card. So if you're just playing Valorant, like only playing Valorant, you don't really need to upgrade. If you're a content creator and you're doing other things besides playing Valorant, then yes, a new card will probably be good for productivity because of the VRAM. But if you're just gaming, I'd suggest just stick with your GTX 1660 Super. Next game is PUBG. Once again, we are using DX11 Enhanced API. And let's go to our standard running shot. Here we have all three cards. And wow, I wasn't expecting it to be this close between our two new cards. You can see on the numbers, it's very close, like really negligible. The main difference would only be power consumption. And yeah, they are both GPU bottleneck here at 1080p. I really should try out TX12 API and see if AMD pulls ahead there, but we'll do that next time. Okay, let's move on to our monitor benchmark. And dang, I didn't think that the RX 6700 XT would lose out here. Look at the difference, boys. I mean, if you are from a 1660 Super and say the RX 6700 XT is cheaper on your region, then yeah, it's an upgrade. But if you want a true upgrade, that would be the RTX 4060. That's if you can get it for roughly the same price or cheaper. Moving on to another game with a lot of destruction, we have the finals. This is our GTX 1660 Super with FSR 2 turned on against the RTX 4060. There's a significant leap here when you're upgrading to the newer Nvidia card. Once again, power efficiency for the 4060 really shines here, achieving more FPS with lesser power. Okay, let's bring on the RX 6700 XT and Wow, the AMD card is just screaming here. Once again, showing its superiority against the other two cards. Look at that lowest difference, boys. Just look at that one. On heavy action scenes, we can see the RX 6700 XT continuing to dominate both these two cards. The average FPS may be close, but dang, look at those lows, boys. Definitely no contest here. The RX 6700 XT is just much more stable here and is definitely the superior card. Now, different games will definitely yield different results. Sometimes you get better on the AMD cards, sometimes you get better stability on the 4060. In our competitive gaming scenarios, it's, it's not the same as what you'd find on those generic 
relative performance benchmark charge which is based off AAA games. Also, VRAM will never be a critical factor in competitive gaming because you turn on most settings and low for visibility. So if you are given these options, which one would you take? Let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you want more of these upgrade testing scenarios and I'll see you boys on the next video.